Good morning students, my name is Mrs. Brunson and I am one of the counselors here at Southport Middle School and I work with students with last names A through I. Hi everyone, my name is Mrs. Benny and I work with students with last names J through R. And I'm Mr. Miller, counselor that works with last names S through Z. Guys, as we get ready to head to virtual learning, it's really important for you to stay connected even though you're at home. One of the ways, of course, that you're going to do that is by tuning into your classes and attending those online. But it's also important for you to know that as counselors, we are still here working in the school building every day, and we are only an email or a phone call away. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you're struggling with some different things, particularly in those rare but very crucial situations where maybe you're thinking about harming yourself, or maybe somebody else is harming you. Please get in touch with us right away. But also know that we do have office hours that are from 8 to 3. We don't work all day every day. So between 8 a.m. and 3 p.m., you're welcome to contact us. Outside of those hours, there are crisis resources. We're going to have a very good crisis web page linked on our school web page. If you go to the school web page and look under students, you will find that crisis page. And that will give you a lot of phone numbers, numbers to text, and so on outside of the normal work hours. Hi, I'm Mrs. Schock. I'm the school social worker. I work with the whole alphabet, 7th uh, and 8th grade. Um, I am here to provide resources that you and your family might need during this time. And one of those might be Wi-Fi. All of you should have Wi-Fi, but if you don't and you'd like to um, talk more about that or if there's a way that I could assist with that, please send me an email directly and my email will be posted. Thank you. Good morning, Cardinals. I want to first uh, say thank you guys for your flexibility and grace. Um, there's so much that we cannot control and if there's one thing COVID-19 has taught us is to really zoom in and focus in on what we can control. And so I want that this message to be about things that we can control. And so there are five things that I'm going to go through. Uh, the first one being your attendance. So remote attendance is not going to change. Um, you, if you've been remote and a hybrid student, uh, you know where to go complete attendance on our perryschools.org backslash SM. You'll see the attendance on the far right in the red banner, and you can go there to still log your virtual attendance. Uh, added piece of that is that your teachers will be keeping records of your attendance. So if you don't want to hear from us, I suggest the best thing that you can do is to show up to their Google Meets and do the work that's asked of you. Trust us, we know that we don't want you to have to do work outside of that eight to three time frame. So we are trying to make sure that if you were able to attend the class and participate in the learning activity, that you won't have any work outside of that eight to three window. That is our goal for us in this process and for you all is to still have a meaningful connection and learning experience until we get to come back together in, at, a, at Southport Middle. The second thing we can control is schedules. And so we have a slightly changed schedule that we're going to be giving to you during your advisory period. And they're going to be on two sheets of paper. You're going to be getting a goldenrod sheet of paper that has your Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday schedule. And what you're really wanting to pay attention to is the beginning of the period for each of your periods. So the beginning time frame for each period. So that's going to be on this and it also has your Wednesday schedule. So many of you will probably just fold this up and put it in your Chromebook case. That's fine too. We also are going to give you a blue one that just has the Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday schedule. The reason this is so important is that these times at the beginning of each period, 836, 928, 1017, that's when you're expected to show up to your first period, second period, third period, and so on class for the Google Meet and the new learning of the day. The third thing we're going to talk about are your lanyards. Many of you have been doing an excellent job of wearing your lanyards and as we hope to come back to school in person at some point in time, we don't want you to lose your lanyard or have a cost to your family or to you to get a new one or an ID. So what we'd like you to do is between 6th and 7th period today, you will hear us get on the PA and you're going to stop by your locker and drop off your lanyard in your locker. And you're going to leave it there for the hopes that when we come back, you already have your lantern and it's already taken care of, ready to go for you. The fourth item I wanted to talk about was you collecting your items. So today we're going to dismiss a little bit early at the end of the day, just to give you a few extra moments and minutes to pack up items that you would like to take home with you. 
So please use that time wisely and take home things that you don't want to enter and back into the building or in case we weren't to come back, things that are left in the locker are things that you wouldn't care if they get thrown away. The last item I wanted to stress to you all is your communication to staff and your communication to each other during this time. As you are all virtual, you will have time on your hands to communicate with staff members. Please know that our staff's hours is from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. So you may email them whenever you like, but I would not expect a response until 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you get one outside of that, that's because the teacher's choosing to respond back to you because they feel there might be a level of urgency to your question. And that is on our staff members. So that time frame of 8 to 3 is incredibly important. The other item is to each other and how you communicate. Often throughout the day, and some of you know this already, because we've talked to you about it, we get notifications in regards to your communication with one another. And so it's incredibly important that you're being responsible with how you use the school issue device with the school email address that you've been given in your communication with one another, right? And that also goes for things that you search. So things that you're searching online, that also sends us something. So if you don't want to hear from us in regards to your communication that might get a bit inappropriate, it's best to not use it for that. Or that search that you don't want to go on your own personal device for, it might be best to just use the Chromebook, right? And so, you know, lastly with this, there's so much that we cannot control in this, right? So I hope during this time of all virtual learning, you continue to focus on things you can't control, which is your learning, which is entering into your learning every day and being a re the responsible students that we know and see so that you're preparing on this track to be high school ready students. Thank you for your time and go Cards. That I am thankful for are my friends and my family. Something that makes me feel really good about myself is my three best friends, Mia, Sophia, and Vanessa, because they make me feel really good about myself, and I really love them, and I'm so glad that they're in my life, and I'm so thankful for them, and they just really make me feel good about myself. The most important life lesson I've learned in life is we get treated in life the way we teach others to treat us. People will treat you the way you allow them to treat you. Respect and love yourself, and others will do the same. For me, I love who I was in the past. I love who I am in the present, and I will love who I am in the future. And I hope everybody can take something from this video and learn to love themselves. Again, I'm thankful for everybody, and I cherish everybody and the relationships I have with them. Have a good day.